Hello everyone, this isn't take two, shut up, and welcome back to Space Marine. Alright, I meant to do this last week, but I was working, so I'm behind the bandwagon, like most of this channel's videos, and I want to talk about Space Marine 2, because watching the trailer, first off, someone showed me the trailer, they linked me to it, and I was like, holy shit, is this real? And then they're like, no, it's real, and I'm like, damn, that's awesome. And then I thought about it, and I went... Actually, I'm kind of worried about this. Um, my major worry is that this is just going to turn into a basically a remake of the first game. The same campaign, the same plot, except with Primaris and crappy lore. That and they're gonna Tyranids. and Tyranids instead of Orcs. That they're going to cut out multiplayer, maybe keep Exterminatus. And that kind of got me worried because I'm like. Yes, all you would need to do to get a win mark from me is, you know, remake the first game with updated technology and, you know, graphics. graphics. <laughs> Definitely the graphics. Um, but that also made me think, isn't that a little bit limiting? Couldn't you do more? So that's kind of my initial thought. And then I was very worried that they were going to cut out... Uh, they were going to cut out multiplayer... So, and I was kind of like, mm. So, yes, yeah, what are so your thoughts? How would they do the multiplayer? Primaris are supposedly superior to Astartes in general, so does that mean the Chaos Astartes would be completely outmatched? Uh, well, my guess is that they would either disregard that for multiplayer and then just, like, make it cosmetic. Uh... Do the thing that should not happen and do Chaos Primaris, which would be fucking horrible. Oh. Uh, or, uh, it will be explained away by warp bullshit. I mean, okay, what if they in do... the campaign? What about Tyranids versus Primaris, then? That was my it was other likely... thought about multiplayer, that then... it would be Tyranids versus Primaris, like Tyranid Warriors um, and the various types, so you know you've got the Warriors with cannons, the warriors with scything talons, and maybe warriors with wings, because I think the old lord did have warriors with wings. As a, a Didn't they also have a dick tail marine? Um, dick tail warrior. tyranid. Yes. Yep. Um, so that was uh, kind of my thought. It would either be space marine versus space marine, or they'd just do turnips versus space marines as the multiplayer. Which I think would be interesting because. Who would be lining up to play on the Tyranids team when you've got Space Marines? Tyranid players? Yeah, but how many of them are there, really? Me. Actually, well, yeah, quite a few. Many. Yeah, it's There's just a... not enough of us, unfortunately. A the power armor always wins. Power armor is sexier. So that was it my is. other thought for multiplayer. That was kind of it would be Tyranid Warriors versus it's Space Marines. Also, what people would be used to playing the campaign. Yeah, that was uh, also. If they did go Tyranids, I could imagine that uh, the different classes would be either different subtypes of Tyranids. Oh god. Or honestly, I can't. I honestly just cannot imagine them doing Tyranids versus Space Marines. Because Tyranids are so different to Space Marines. Not to are mention you, the customization like, problem. You really you just kind of can't that's... really uh, do them. Because there's like almost no customization other than like a few. Like, do you want the curved or the straight chitin? <laughs> that's true. You want the lictor face? <laughs> or do you the want the gun HP that fires acid? Face? Or do you want the gun that fires beetles? <laughs> <laughs> do you want HP Lovecraft face? Or do you want just regular monster face? Uh, I choose HP Lovecraft just in general. <laughs> just for the guy. Fair enough. Um, anyway. Especially his cat. And the... Uh. Uh. <laughs> oh, no! No, no, it was his father. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, back to it, back to it, before we go on yes. tangents. Uh, so that was kind of, yeah, the it was turn of Warriors versus Primaris was the other thing. And back to the customization... Yeah, you made the point, Dempsey, and you're correct. Primaris customization's crap. Let's be honest. There's yeah. the Mark Nine and Mark Ten armor, and that's it. There's no, you know, Mark Three to Mark, you know, Eight. Well, and... there is no Mark Nine armor. It's just Mark Ten. There's just three different ty types of Mark Ten armor because it's modular. 
Yeah. Oh, great. That, that's a ten. That's probably an it is a a sign that there will be only three class setups, just like the first game. Then a devastator and assault, and um, what was the other one? Not uh, necessarily, because they basically operate as completely different things. Hmm. Like for example. Well, there are intercessor space marines, which are the Primaris tacticals, as well as heavy intercessors, which have their own thing. The Phobos marines also have uh, their stuff that act as tactical and assault stuff. Yeah. The sad thing guess... is with the customization is um, the, the 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 chapter master of the Blood Raven. I'm sorry, Blood Fucking Flesh Terrors was correct. They're just they're just the guys in their goddamn. Ultramarines, Ultramarines in red armor. In red armor. <laughs> Which again goes back to customization, getting slightly back on track, when there's not huge amounts of Primaris customization. I mean, even the Primaris upgrade sprue kits only really provide fucking shoulder pads and maybe a different looking chainsaw or something. It's so basic. I think that might be because of Games Workshop being lazy than it's anything just... else because... Primaris are boring. They're military industrial environment boring. Yeah, like, also, their armor, I just don't like it. It's not boxy mm. anymore. Why is it so smooth? Anyway, Why is it so smooth? <laughs> so, for uh, for the multiplayer itself, I think the modes that should come back is Annihilation, and that should be the default mode, by the way, Space Marine, not Seize Ground. When I start a playlist, I don't want Seize Ground to be the first option. I want fucking Team Deathmatch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the next thing is a free for all mode will be fun, just oh, so we fuck. can go yes. around killing each other. I know it's not law friendly, but fuck we it. need it. <laughs> It'd be fun. Uh, Dreadnought Assault needs to make a return in some form, and as Trip was saying, it can be Dreadnought, and the Turnids, if they're doing Turnids, can be you know a Carnifex or just Dreadnought a versus bio Dreadnought. Four. <laughs> no. Uh, so that should make a comeback in some form. And in terms of maps, I know it's weird and it's not 40k, but like a map that had a little bit of green on it, or something that's not a grey-brown industrial environment. Don't some uh, of these shrine worlds have open fire? Yeah, open Forest. classes and stuff, but this is one of those things of, oh, I'd like something that's a little bit... Because when you play all the maps in this one, I mean, they're very similar, aren't they? They're all yeah. industrial because Forge World, in some capacity, yeah. you have the Except idea the... you fight in the Mana for Terrorum, or you Ex fight on the way. I think that uh, on a Shrine World, you would have a very similar problem, but in the opposite direction. Instead of everything being industrial, everything would be a fucking church. Or or open pastures. Don't some uh, Shrine Worlds keep forests? Like, they maintain their, their yes, biospheres? Yes, but anyway... So, I'd like a bigger variety of maps, and I think there's only like nine maps or something in this. I'd like there to there be at least nine. like a dozen, just to keep things interesting. And I say that specifically because you've got companies like, like fucking Nintendo and Call of Duty that are like, ah, oh, five maps, or the new Battlefield 2042, oh, five maps is good enough. No, no, it's fucking not. You need more than like a handful of maps, They had please. five maps? I yes. there were only two. <laughs> Nintendo games have only two. Anyway, so a greater variety of maps, a greater variety in how they look aesthetically. Um, as I said, Annihilation needs to make a comeback. Dreadnought Assault, Free For All. I can take or leave Seize Ground. Capture the Flag, I mean, it is an iconic game mode, but it's not really that interesting. How many times do we play it? Never. <laughs> yeah, I've played it like once or twice. So you oh, can... oh shit! <clears throat> Exterminatus mode needs to have a difficulty setting, please. Yes, <laughs> I've now... heard people say they want it to be harder, which is uh, fuck no. you, fuck those guys. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. No offense. <laughs> it, you killed yourself there. Okay. Um, yep. Oh, that's another thing. Plasma cannon. If there's a plasma gun like the Hell Blaster uh, incinerator oh, yes. guns. Yep. If friendly fire is off in whatever exterminatus mode they have, please don't let it fucking kill you. Yeah. I agree Fired with at that. at the ground, at your feet. No more splash damage on myself, please. God dang it. Like, I can shoot my fucking friends and uh, it will be, uh, you know, fine. 
I shoot the orc in front of me, and it's alive, and I'm dead. Yeah, that's kind of bullshit. <laughs> At least let me kill that orc, and, you know, the ten in front of me, as well as I die. I go out in a fire of blaze. Speaking of weaponry that we probably want. Well, weaponry, chainsaw, for melee, it's got to be chainsaws, power weapons. I'd like a power fist. A power fist, please. Yeah. Power fist would be cool. Oh. I would also like dual wielding. Mm, I don't know. I don't think, well, especially for third nah. person, dual wielding doesn't really work. Hey, I would love to dual wield chainsaws. Yeah, it'll be ranged weapon and a pistol. Or, you know, yeah. melee weapon and a pistol. Oh, that's good enough, I guess. Anyways, oh. of course, uh... Also, the only troops that actually do wield stuff are like corn berserkers. Uh, back to the topic at hand, though. Yes. Uh, for Primaris, I mean, at the launch, their melee weapons were non existent. But yeah, chainsaws, power swords, uh, power fists, and power axes would be nice. Um, you, I don't, you can take a lead Thunder Hammers. I think power fists could probably replace Thunder Hammer. I cast fists! <laughs> For ranged weapons, or... you've got bolt rifles, heavy bolt rifles, auto bolt rifles, uh, plasma hell blast uh, guns. You've got the, the storm bolter. plasma incinerators is what plasma, they are. Yeah, plasma incinerators. You've got the melter guns that they have. The eradicators. Yep. Which are only gravis armored marines. Ah. Can we get an assault cannon? You know, which some is of the, the main. Weapons? No, the the. Primaris don't uh, actually get them. No. The most that I would be able to see is actually having, like, uh, different classes that have different types of armor. For example, instead of having a Devastator, uh, you can be, like, you can have the uh, the Gravis armored marines that have their uh, heavy bolt rifles, which are basically LMGs. But don't they only have a mag of, like, 20? Yeah, but I think for gameplay balance, you could but probably But for, like, it. multiplayer, it's yeah. fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, flame weapons would be cool, but I've always thought about how that would be annoying to have to program. So I I think for laziness sake for game devs, they probably I don't really wouldn't. think that a flamethrower works in a third-person hack-and-slash shooter. No, exactly that as well. Huh. Like, in a first-person game, that's, uh... Or rather, in either a squad-based or a single-player game, it's completely fine. It's the third-person uh, action game that interferes with that. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Uh... <laughs> well, um, well, that's our uh, end of gameplay. What about the, uh, you know, enemy types? Like, we saw, you know, Gaunts. Um, there'll be oh, Gaunts, Termagaunts, Warriors, Gene Stealers. Um, I think Electors will probably make an appearance. I in imagine the probably there'll be like I a. I imagine a uh, a, a, a couple of mini bosses that are Electors. Yeah, or things like you know, there's a <laughs> a level where we're in a sewer and you get jumped by Gene Stealers and Electors. Like I can oh, see that. Oh, I can fully imagine Gene Stealer cults being a thing in the game. Ooh, do you think we'll see the um the mutant things for the uh aberrants? Yes, the aberrants. Yeah, I can see that. Um, warriors, as I said, hive tyrant boss fight, or at least the counterfix boss fight. I can see that fairly easily. Oh, that was a nice stick. Uh, yes, what else? Yeah, gene stealer cultist, I could potentially see. And you could reuse assets from Imperial Guard and just, you know, change the character model or the sprite. Basically, you just change the head. Yep, that's true. That would be a, the economical way of doing it. Well, that's the Brood Brothers, though. Hmm. Oh, that was comedic. And, of yes. course, um, let's see. Tyranid Guards has a, maybe another enemy type. Kind of a, I don't know, maybe a... You mean the style. Hive Tyrant Guards? The Tyrant Guard. Yeah, oh, my bad, yes, Tyrant Guard. Do you think the, uh... Honestly, I could very well see the return of Chaos in the game, though. 
Oh, my God. They're back for Titus again. Got to make sure he's taken away for another 250 years. Either that or redeem himself. Redeem himself? And technically, you don't... No, actually, it's not that he was gone for 200 years. Each stud is, isn't is a marker of how old you are. It's how long you've been in service to the Imperium. So he's been serving the Ultramarines chapter for over 400 years. We Jesus. don't know how long he was taken away from the... Uh, or at least the Imperium. We don't know how long he was taken away from the rest of the Imperium. I have a feeling that Cole got wind of this and he snatched him away from the Inquisitor. We were not, I had the same thought. I was No, not snatched by the Inquisitor. I had the thought the Inquisition had pawned him off to Cole as a test subject. Oh, uh, like I said, oh. I didn't say that. I said that Cole snatched him from the Inquisition. Oh, no, I had the idea that the Inquisition gave him to Cole as a test subject. No, oh, it was like, well, we don't feel like kidding him here. <laughs> like, God damn it! <laughs> or it could just be something that's very boring of him just returning to the chapter and then crossing the Rubicon. <laughs> Oh, that's probably sure. most likely, let's be honest. Which gets yeah, me the into... The they have... <laughs> correct, I was about to mention that. So, the other thing that worried me was the fact that the right they have is incredibly left-wing and doesn't get 40k. It doesn't get reality, by looking at a lot of their Twitter posts. Um, and that concerns me with the fact of... I worry what the fuck they're going to do in it. If they're going to try and force an agenda or ideology... Or things like you say, you know, Mira coming back. I worry about her coming back because even if she's a colonel or a general or something, um, how badly is she going to be written? Also, how old is she going to look? I mean, rejuve treatments, what, they only work really well for like the first 200 I years? I don't think she'll be alive. No, I, I don't think she'll do come back at all, alive. but... I just the At writer most, I feel like me. Uh, you might hear in passing from when you're like passing by guardsmen or something about uh, like the great general Mira served with uh, the lieutenant there, and that's about it. Hmm. But yeah, the writer concerns me because I'm kind of like, oh, what are they gonna do? To be fair, like, it is the lead you. writer, not the like writer of the game there is a team of writers oh yeah she's not the lead writer she is the uh, uh one of the senior writers just like she just yeah. gives input so uh who is the actual yeah. lead writer then like this is one of the good things about this is that it's always a team of writers never just like one person writing the entire fucking game yeah thank god for that i really hope they veto pretty much most of what she says i put that in quotation marks it's a he don't fucking don't. i know i hate it. even when you put it in quotation marks just fucking ow, 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 ow. <laughs> yeah but it also makes me think at best the story will be a remake of the first but i i kind of wonder where they'll actually go with it well, also something they... interesting i noted in the uh, the trailer real quick is that all the guardsmen were left-handed Oh, yeah, that was quite funny, actually. <laughs> no right handers in the like, Imperium. Oh, my guardsman's left handed. Then I noticed everyone else was left handed. Like, what the fuck? But at the end, when he's kneeling, he's using the gun in the right hand. Anyway, back to the writing. Uh, I wonder if it's like they flip the. They flip the, like, character models while they were recording that. And that's why they're all left handed. Possibly. Or it's like Fallout, um, Fallout 4, where everyone's fucking left handed for some reason. Oh yeah, because all the guns are left-handed guns because they wanted fucking the reload animation to be more visible. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Anyway, back to it. Back. Yeah. So I, as I said, I kind of have concerns about the writing, but I'm hoping I'll be wrong. Like, do you guys think we're going to get like, you know, who's gay? Gay colonel with gay commissar. They love each other very much. Just die by the Tyranids already. Ah, uh, it depends on if anyone at GW is actually supervising them. Bloody well hope. Well, actually, is it GW that's supervising them? Because I, aren't they being made by a company that's only They're being made by Saber making... Interactive, which is owned by Focus. Yeah, isn't Focus in well, charge of uh, games like World War Z? Like, that was a Horde game, if I remember correctly. Well, they are Focus, a publisher. Yeah, they are a publisher. They published Space Hulk Deathwing. So they have done, and they published Battlefield Gothic Armada. 
So when I oh. saw the publisher, when I saw Focus Home, I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. I'm fine with that. Uh, Focus seems to be the publisher that has, like, most of the rights to have do 40k games. Yeah. They've also done a couple of Space Hulk games. Yes, they have. Uh, Space Hulk they're, Tactics. They've done, the, uh, they've they've done the turn-based tactic games of Sanctus Reach and Battle Sector. And Battle Sector does is is good. Yeah. I'm the sorry, but I'm absolutely taking atrocious. pessimism. I'm choosing pessimism on this. I just hope the gameplay is good and Exterminatus makes a turn. Well, as I, said, I do not have any faith in that story. I'm sorry. As I said, honestly, if I would honestly be more worried if Games Workshop was the one supervising them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah that's true. a fair point. But as I said, ideal world scenario. Uh, multiplayer makes a comeback. Space Marines vs. Chaos. Um, a few more maps and a few more variety as a maps, please. Oh, God, please. Play test the game and make sure that no overpowered bullshit guns give us a polished release. Oh, Space yeah. Marine got oh. a class. I uh, got a pass because of how old it was, for one, and two, because of that game company. Uh, Relic, which doesn't even exist anymore, which is the only reason that overpowered bullshit still gets to be there they had a pass you saber Relic does do exist anymore. not it's just owned by uh sega it's thq that owned them that doesn't exist anymore uh, whatever I, I hope that the range units don't just do ridiculous oh things yes thank you fire. good point good point yep uh number one on that list please uh devs uh please make it so that enemy range attacks don't fuck your shit up bullshit no orc snipers allowed please or Yes. For Don't fuck's worry. sake, that is the most disgusting attack. thing about the yeah, first that's... game, is the enemy ranged attacks are bullshit accurate, bullshit overpowered, and not fun. Yeah. Like, yeah. Have a difference, like, we, we want strong attacks, but not rapid strong attacks. Agreed. Like, I want the Tyranids just to run up and try to cut me to pieces. I don't want to be killed by acid across the map. Please. Like, yeah. Like, you, you need to put range units every now and again, but just don't. Yeah, don't isn't the main them. bulk of Tyranids anyway is teeth and chitin, not yes. guns. Yeah, I think that's just better for their, um... Uh, actually, that... It's actually a fairly decent split surprisingly yeah they got... also depends <laughs> they have range they have yeah there's, there's actually a lot of ranged weapons in the tyranid thing mm. oh yeah it's actually funny they actually have blind artillery oh yeah that makes sense but, but yes again, now the question is sorry, we're doing a, video. a lot of those are uh how many of those would actually be enemies we would fight in the game though True, true, true. I mean, I'll stay here. Thank you. They keep the... I think they'll keep the, like, the most popular or well-known. So, you know, we're in the, the Warriors, Biovores, Gargoyles, stuff like that. I don't know what would be the point of leaning into the lesser-known stuff, really. It's kind of my thought with that. Yeah. But yes, tone down ranged weapons, please. You can increase the number of enemies... But just tone down ranged weapons. Because ranged weapons in this first one are... Bullshit. It was ridiculous. Like, it's like... Okay, this thing is shooting me rapidly. Is accurate as fuck. Even though it's an orc. And hurts like a motherfucker. Yeah. It Let's so not forget the, uh... The orc three. knob. The orc knob. <laughs> Don't he, forget the orc knob, who uh, apparently can hip fire you across the board, and uh, while you're beating him in the face with a power axe, he's still shooting you. <laughs> yeah. So tone down range yeah. weapons, please, guys, especially in Exterminatus. And as for Exterminatus, um, a couple more than maybe like a couple of game modes, like maps, you know, instead of just two loyalists and one chaos, maybe two or three, and you know, go from there. Maybe a Maybe oh, a that's a fun thought. Map. If yeah. uh, if it's Tyranids versus Space Marines as the multiplayer, they could have like an anti-exterminatus where you 
like lead a squad of where you know it's basically a squad of warriors assaulting something so that the rest oh, wait, of the oh, Tyranid horde can go there's in. There's war did. Oh, horde mode tower defense thing. I mean, yeah, you could start off a plane as a gun fighting guardsmen. Ah, uh, I think the exterminators, if anything, would be the standard Space Marines versus Tyranids. Yeah. But I think there should just be a few more maps and a bit. I think more... what Trip wants is just a game where you can play as Tyranids. <laughs> it's a bit more balance. That's just the main Please. thing holding exterminators back. It is. Balance, literally, like, that's the big problem. The orc shooter BS. Like, I want, like I said earlier, a bloody, like, difficulty meter. I want easy, hard, normal exterminatus. Or, oh, I'm sorry, easy, normal, hard exterminatus. Or at least just the ability to increase your fucking health. Ooh, and armor. how about it also scales for how many players you have? <laughs> yeah, that's actually a, a common sense solution that should have been thought of. Yeah. <sighs> I and think so the problem the with that is, like, uh, because people can drop and enter into games, like, uh, you know, like normal multiplayer games, the problem is balancing that for people dropping in and dropping out. Well, they did it for Borderlands 2. Every time someone joined, it, it got harder. The enemies got harder. Every time someone left, the enemies got weaker. It should be that simple. Make it a scale that can go up and down automatically depending on how many people have joined the Exterminatus. Also, please, can we have five people? Like, can we have actual mm. full squads in Exterminatus instead of, what, is four? What is a I normal squad? I think it'll stick to keyword? four because four is, um, for consoles, you know, the amount of controllers a console can support. And four's yeah, the standard. Yeah, but do you really think they will have four controllers to plug into? I mean, seriously. No, but I'm saying four has always been and probably will always be the standard. Yes, but how many true Space Marines are in a squad in lore? It depends. About ten. Yeah, ten. Oh, fuck! A ten-player Exterminatus. Yeah, that better be a the big standard. fucking map. <laughs> ten is the standard Yeah, ten is the, uh, the standard squad. Is this that the uh, the minimum... Did I just talk with a fucking lisp there? Yes. The fucking uh, minimum squad that you can have is five because uh, they split, basically. Good. Then a five-man squad, please. Like, I'm have, a, like, an extra guy. Practically the size of a kill team, really. Hmm. Anyway. So, yeah. Exterminatus. Yeah. Better balance. More mo, like, more maps. Uh, and just a little more thought put into, put into it. I mean, Exterminatus was yeah. taxed, 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 was English, on, onto the end. And it's a really good idea. Yeah. It just needs better fulfilling. It just needs to actually be done tuning. of a... <sighs> Just fine-tune it, guys. You gotta polish this game, or it's going to be a now, tremendous Now, that brings me a slot. slight worry, because Focus Home Interactive Games... I mean, how long did it take us to play around with Deathwing yesterday? Focus Home oh, tend yeah. not to polish their games till after people complain about it. And I don't hold it, well, I slightly hold it against them, but, I mean, it's focus home. It's just Dude, what this you expect. the cult following behind Space Marine will absolutely have an uproar if they do not at least try to make it semi-playable. Also, much. the uh, the com the actual developer company that they had them do it is only really done remasters and remakes. Or remasters that is what it's known for. worries me, because oh, I mean, yeah. the GTA trilogy was done oh, by the people who made the fucking no. mobile port. Oh, that <laughs> it was made by the people who did the what now? The mobile port. Oh. Yeah, they oh. ported the GTA 3 in San Andreas to a phone, and they were given the contract oh, why to... Why would anyone do that? And they were given the contract to do the full remasters. Um, so That's anyone who's why? not, who's an inexperienced developer, kind of worries me a little bit for that, about that. Hello, darkness, my old friend. What the fuck is wrong with you again? <laughs> Just the same as always. But yeah, let's see, the part I'm least worried about, believe it or not, aside from the writing, is the campaign. Because I think, yeah, it's hard to fuck that up. Tyranids versus, you know, Space Marine, Save the World, Angels of Death. Yeah, I can get my hands. Take it away yeah. by the Inquisition in the end. <laughs> Another. Uh... Or Ravute Gilman shows up and gives you a bro fist. Dude, I really want that. 
really, really want that. A freaking cameo from the Primarch oh, himself. Also, uh, my theory that this could also lead into Titus getting his own chapter is more than probably not going to actually happen because there's nothing that signifies the Ultramarines in the uh, trailer as being gray shields, which is what the original Primaris were. Uh, well, do you think he he could be like here, Titus? These are your now. These are now your men. Uh, here, you want well, to he protect He's only got sector. two of them in that campaign. Well, probably not because uh, based on the Marines that were in the trailer, Titus is going off Codex again. <laughs> oh, yay! Nice. Because one Good. of them has the normal bolt rifle and the other has an auto bolt rifle, and those can't be taken together on tabletop. Well, I mean, it's good then. Well, um, they can be taken what... in the law, but you know. Law isn't is that what Gilliman wanted from the start, though, from his Space Marines? Don't yeah, use he... this as a holy Bible. He's it's a reference re... book. We're getting distracted, but he is rewriting the codex so people don't follow it so blindly. Anyway. Good. Um, so I'm not worried about the um, single player that much. I think it'll have some awesome set pieces. It'll have some cool fights. Um, you know, maybe a Titan will show up. I mean, the Chimera rolling around in the background makes me think there'll be like a big battle scene with Lehman Russes and you know Kamiras and oh you mean background in. noise basically yeah, on our main I, route we'll just see like big bio titans fighting um imperial titans yeah I like, think just stuff like that will be cool like, yeah that's what I said cool. um so uh, that's kind of mostly because doing it as uh actual things that you fight is kind of fucking impossible yeah. it really is so that was kind of I think that will be cool it's just my biggest worries, as I said, is them scrapping multiplayer or making it, you know, watered down, and Exterminatus. Is honestly, anything... based on the way modern games have been going, I could honestly see uh, people preferring the first game to the second one, and then the second one just kind of dying. That but, is a uh, worry. The launch is yeah. very important, especially in these days when... There's always backlashes to shit launches. So it makes yeah. me... They have to nail the launch and not have buggy glitches and, you know... Like I said, polish it to fucking fine wine. Yeah. Uh, uh, until we get more information on it, I'm cautiously optimistic. Yeah. And I fully expect that to be... Uh, I <laughs> so were you, want were you the one, the only be, uh... person who voted cautiously optimistic in the poll I put on the channel? <laughs> Wait, no, there I was didn't... a poll? God yeah, I put a poll, me. like, what were people thinking for Space Marine 2? And there was, like, one person... I didn't person... know there was a poll. Oh, one I person put this. cautiously optimistic, and I was like, I'm imagining that's probably Yafe. And then there was <laughs> one that I put one of the options as gross Primaris, and I was like, that's probably Dempsey. <laughs> Dempsey, don't you like Primaris? That is what I would have... No, I like their heavy bolt guns. I don't like the Primaris. <laughs> I love their guns. I love the new guns. I love the new bolter. I love the heavy bolt rifle. Like, leave me alone. I love the long housing on the bolter. I like the heavy bolt rifle and the auto bolt rifle, not the standard bolt rifle or the stalker bolt rifle. Also, like if it. you're doing... Just going back to multiplayer scene, if you are doing um, the customization... Um, let it so we can change chapters like in this one, and have there be more options. Have the lamenters be there. Add more chapter icons. It's quite limiting. Like, what or have is. the ability to add your... You know what? I was going to say have the ability to add your own icons into it, but... Um, uh, no, no, make your own. Well, that yeah. Create some, uh, some things. Yeah, I was going to oh, say. Yeah. If you can make your the own, sons of we'll Hitler have the Dick show chapter up. marine. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, the sons of Hitler. <laughs> We'll no, no, that, is my name. that is the name of uh, my chapter now. Fuck it. <laughs> the sun's okay. <laughs> Wait, okay. You know what? I actually uh, had a, I had a terrifying thought. No. Maybe it's a good thought. Well, they could add expansions to the game. Oh, no, I was thinking like they probably will. Like this one. This had two expansions. Oh. Why? Yeah. They cost uh, where do you think? <laughs> yeah, they cost like 10 bucks each. Where do you think yeah. Dreadnought Assault and oh, um, Exterminatus shit. came from? Please, no, please don't gaming. make this a live service game as well. Oh, <laughs> yes, that's a fair point. Uh, um, I no, I don't think they'll do um, single-player DLC, because that's very un these days. Like, yeah, like, this is taboo, dudes. Don't do it. But yeah, though, no... that's probably what a lot of people actually want. Yeah. yeah. No live service. 
Um, basically, which just they're gonna do. There's take a, some there's care. There's a seventy percent chance they're gonna do that. Please. What makes uh, you think that it's a seventy percent chance they're gonna do that? Focus I Home have never done a live service, day. though. Yeah. Like, yes. Uh, they're the one of the last holdouts of the, um, not AAA like the B tier. Deliver games. most of it all right there and there, please. Yeah, they're the last holdouts basically of like the mid-range development scene. So, okay, you. Uh, another point, devs. Please fix game code so man doesn't warp through Thunder Hammer Strike like that one just did. Oh, yes, please! Please have upgraded it. service and hit detection. No, so we please. don't no have situations like that. Don't have 20 tick rate servers, guys. At least 30 minimum. 40 if possible. No. Oh. Uh, so basically, those were just... Oh, preliminary thoughts basically my darkest thought is they'll just do the single player campaign exterminatus and strip out multiplayer ideally yeah. i'd like just to see them take some time and care and have a look at what may was popular in this game and just improve on that i mean so that's... one thing with the multiplayer point is that uh chapter master valrak was one of What's the people that uh pushed uh that pushed uh for a them to actually make the game and yeah. he's a big proponent of multiplayer like they actually full-on uh, gave thanks to him for getting it pushed through basically oh really so mm, well yeah. i have some thanks to chapter master valorak then despite him being you know mostly a massive shill to the game he's workshop. not actually a shill he's just a massive fanboy for warhammer there is a very big difference between a shill and a fanboy he does criticize the company quite a bit <laughs> Oh, does he? I've never shows. heard him. Yes, he does. He actually talks shit about the uh, the price stuff and all that. Anyway. Well, the prices. Everyone hates the boy. prices. <laughs> anyway, back to back uh, to. Oh, there the are uh, oh no, actual shills defend the prices. But back to the video. Yeah, back to the video, please. So basically, we'll sum up. My initial thoughts are just take a bit of time and look at what was popular from this game and improve on it. Next person, what's your idealized scenario? DMC? Oh, me? Um, I want more weapons. I need more weapons. I want an eviscerator. I want the heavy bolt rifle. And I need them to have chunk to them. The Space Marine, also in the first Space Marine game, they mastered it. You felt like a Space Marine. You felt like you had weight when you were hitting someone. The, it was just perfect. You gotta c capture that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Trap, uh, since you spoke next. Oh, me? Well, okay then. Um. This is. Oh, uh, new. <laughs> and just. Well, since we're playing Tyranids. Oh, shit. Play I'm up enemy rights. Well, oh, uh, they're, they're Tyranids in the game, sorry. Enemies are Tyranids, my bad. Add some variety types and, uh, like, uh, Dempsey said, a few new weapons. Yeah. And yes, I want to fight a Carnifex. <laughs> and chop the master. Please have flame weapons. I'm not a big fan of flame. I will. Give, give, give more variety of weapons. Ah, uh, she's not gonna go outside. Basically she the might. same. Yeah, yep. Sorry. Just Space Marine One with expanded. All right. Well, that sums this up, I suppose. Let's see what the future holds. We will. Just Are pray. they Dominus Knox? 